A very different community to the Plec is contained in the Tanat and Kine Valleys in North Wales, close to the English border in Shropshire. About 3,000 people live here, scattered in tiny villages. Because of the declining population, they've been exporting unemployment for generations. People here have set up Antia Tanat Kine, the Tanat and Kine Venture. One initiative has been to launch a medieval fair. Gaynor Richfield explains. One of the researchers that works for Antia Tanat Kine discovered a charter, which he was in Latin, but uh, at Aberystwyth University he translated it and discovered that uh, San Ryder was granted a royal charter for um, a, an annual fair, market fair, 700 years ago. It's the oldest in Wales, so we decided to bring it back to life again. And we're doing it this year for the first time. It's the 700th year. Hopefully, if it's successful, it'll become an annual event. <laughs> the problems of rundown rural areas are often harder to appreciate than those of the inner cities. The chairman of Antia Tanat Kine is David Rowlands. We're on the boundary between Powys and Clwyd County Council, between Montgomery and Glyndwr District Councils. We're very close to the border with England as well. And we're also on a linguistic boundary because we're on the edge of the uh, Welsh-speaking area, predominantly Welsh-speaking in the west, uh, getting down towards English-speaking in the east of the Antigenic Kinds area. And it's made it much more difficult to get attention paid to our problems by the authorities. The population peaked in 1841 and Outside the towns, the population by 1971 had dropped to about a third of the 1841 figure. There was a survey carried out just before the formation of Antitonic Kine, looking at the wishes of the young people, and it was significant that the vast majority would prefer to remain in the area, providing work and social facilities were available for them. An employment mainstay in the valley used to be this old mill, which earlier this century had a smithy, shop and pub attached employing around 50 people. Now it's been taken over by Antir Tanat Kine, which is converting it into a tourist centre. When complete, it will have craft workshops, a cafe, gift shop, and a museum of rural life. One craftsman who's already moved in is toy maker Les Turner. A lot of tourists, a hell of a lot of tourists, Americans, Australians, Germans, quite a few people coming through. And I do do the fairs. Well, I've only done a couple last year because I was a bit late to get in and that went very well because so I've only been going for just about a year but I set myself a target of about four thousand pounds for the first year and I reached that about well it took me eight months to reach that so I'm over the top it's a bonus as far as I'm concerned now the people that come in you know so it's a change a change to see wooden toys and see all this plastic plastic stuff Antia Tanat Kine gives support to the Tanat Theatre Club which produced a miracle play for the medieval fair. In it, the greengrocer's wife played Mrs. Noah, a local gardener, Noah, and the village headmaster, God, seen here in rehearsal. Ah, oh, benedicite! What art thou that dost tell me before that which shall be? Thou art full marvellous. Tell me for charity thy name so gracious. My name is of dignity, and also full glorious to know. I am God most mighty. Oh. One God in Trinity made thee and every man to be. Noah. Noah. To thee and to thy fry my blessings grant I. He shall wax and multiply and fill the earth again. When all these floods are past and fully gone away, Lord, homeward will I haste as fast as I may. My wife, I will ask. What will she say? I am all aghast lest there be some fray between us both. For she is full titchy, but little oft angry. If anything is wrong, soon is she wroth. Now, as ever might I thrive, the worst to see thee. Tell me, on your life, where that long could thou be? To death may we drive, because of thee. Alack, while work weary we sink, 
thou dost what thou think, yet of meat and drink have we great lack. Wife, we are hard pressed with tidings new. Noah! Noah! One of Antir Tanat Kind's most successful ventures is the Tanat Chronicle, a monthly community newspaper which has appeared with remarkable regularity since 1979. Its circulation of a thousand copies, selling for 30 pence a copy, does a great deal to promote the area's identity. It profiles existing firms and new enterprises and acts as an exchange and mark for the community. The paper is produced by a team of volunteers at Langedwin Mill, Antir Tanat Kynes headquarters. The contents of forthcoming issues are decided at monthly meetings, this one chaired by Mavis Nicholson. The other major story I've got here is the um, Burnley closures issue. Now, we have to, um, done a couple of pieces on that, but I understand there are some new developments there. Well, um, it's a good story anyway, isn't it? It's a sad story, because, I mean, it's a, a, a whole community yes. was based on one thing. I mean, it's like, like a coal, coal mining village suddenly not having a coal mine. Yes. Um, or Abervale not having a steelworks. And it's, it's something that's mm. happening a lot around here. It's not, it's not unlike the situation in the quarry. It's a reflection, it's really, of, of what's going on generally in, in the country. And it's mm. a sort of... Um, What's interesting is that the people at the lake that form in the cooperative are now trying to see other ways, mm. which they mean before you didn't have to bother to see. Yes. Like, for instance, encouraging tourism. No, I don't know. I mean, I, yeah. I've always wondered why that lake was so empty. <laughs> never had well, they, they do boats, have a tourist centre there, don't they? Yeah. But, uh, but nothing happened. You know? Exactly. Mm -hmm. If it had been in, in, on a continent, you would have had little boats bobbing up and down, and it would have been quite yes. charmingly done. I, w I wonder how they're going about... Um, have they actually formed the cooperative? Uh, yes, they've, uh, they've elected a committee and they're, they're adopting a constitution and they're registering with the various cooperative boards. I, th I think we can uh, help quite a bit here, you know, with, uh, with communication. Because uh, mm -hmm. all, all too often um, there's something like that is decided and a few people get in the room. And mm. they, they, they have to get the information out to the people of the community, the people that matter, and, and very often there's not permission. If you're a newcomer in an area, it's a very nice, quick way to get to know the area, as a matter of fact. I mean, you've got to be very careful that you don't look, seem like a, a sort of an intruder and a busybody. You know, I mean, there's the Askib, which is the well-speaking newspaper, and there's us. And we are, tend to be the people who are new to the area. So we've got to be careful, you know, like a visitor has got to sort of have good manners. Another of Antir Tanat Kind's projects is building a playing field for one of the villages in its area, Clanryada and Mucknant. It's raised money for the scheme from local councils and from central government agencies. But a lot of the work is done by volunteers. Here, children from the local primary school clear away stones from drainage channels. Antir Tanat Kine acts on the principle that regenerating the local economy involves more than creating jobs directly. Building up local facilities and promoting a greater sense of local identity are equally important. Organising the medieval fair has certainly given a greater sense of community solidarity to the area, bringing people from the outlying farms in touch with people from the villages. Usually they live lives apart. <laughs> At the same time, the event brought large numbers of visitors and a welcome boost to the tourist trade. Lord, would I wear at ease and heartily hail, with a pottage of peas and my widow's kale, for thy soul it would please me to pay penny bail. Therefore, counsel you, what fowl might best know how, in flight of wing, and I bring without tarrying of mercy some talking of my own. <laughs> <laughs> Areas like the Tanat Valley and the Plek are demonstrating that communities can fight back on their own initiative against unemployment. They're putting into practice the belief that local self-reliance is the only alternative that many communities have to long-term economic decline.